Tony, and today I'm going to be upgrading the DYU e-bike. One of the things I don't like about it is its throttle. I think it feels quite awkward when you're using it. Um, it's a lot more natural for me to use the twist. And the other problem I have with it is when you're pressing the throttle really hard, it starts to turn on you like that, and there's no way to tighten this thing up. If I try to tighten it all the way down, it, the housing would break. It is made out of plastic. So for this upgrade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and put on a twist throttle. It's not too hard. It's not exactly just plug and play, but I'll show you guys what wires you got to swap. So the first thing I need to do is start removing everything from this one side so I can replace this. So first I'll pull off the hand grip. Now that I got the hand grip removed, next I just need to loosen the brake lever so it can be shifted over once everything else is put on. Now I'm going to go ahead and back the bolt all the way off this one to remove the throttle. Now that I got the throttle unscrewed, pretty much just need to undo this little twist wire cover here to expose all the wire. I just go ahead and pull it apart. It does take a little bit of force. So now we have the old throttle all the way removed. Now for the new throttle, these can be picked up off of Amazon or AliExpress. They range anywhere from like $5 to $20. I'll show you what happens when you first hook these on without any kind of wiring reconfiguration. So let's just slide it on real quick. Plug it in. You see the little notch on each side. You want to line those up. The pins are quite fragile. So let's go ahead and turn on the bike and I'll show you what happens. It's its way of showing that there's some kind of air. Uh, in this one, it's showing that there's a throttle error, and that is because there's basically two wires that are different in the unit. So there's two ways to fix the wiring issue. One way is you can fix it on the throttle. There's usually a screw right there, and they're pretty much all built the same. So once you pop that little door off there, you're going to see three wires for the hall sensor. On the end, on these two upper ends, you'll see a black and a green wire, or a black and whatever color wire they did that. So after you swap those wires, it'll work great on the DYU A1F. Or the other way you could do it will void your warranty. You can actually change the wiring at your controller. You do this simply by opening up the one end of the bike opposite from the battery. The controller pull out of there and then you basically swap those two wires there. Keep in mind, yeah, it, it will void your warranty with DYU. It does have a little bit of hot glue down in there, usually for water protection. You get to slowly take a heat gun to it. Uh, don't get it too hot, it will melt the plastic. Kind of go back and forth heating it up, and it'll turn the hot glue into goo in no problem. It breaks down around 100 in Fahrenheit. And then, yeah, I basically reapplied the goo back in there. You do got to be really careful when you're doing this. The pins on the hall sensor, they can break off fairly easy. I did destroy one unit out of uh, three I was doing for this, so just a word of caution there. All right, now with it rewired, I'm going to go ahead and put it back onto the bike, line up the little pins here, and plug it in. So now when I turn on the bike, there are no airs being displayed by the headlight. Let's go ahead and uh, give the throttle a test here, make sure everything's working right. Of course, I don't have it screwed down, but. Nice. Before I tighten everything down, I want to put the hand grip on to see exactly where all this needs to be tightened at. Sand grips can always be a little fun to take on and off. I'll put a little bit of a soapy water in it there just to make my life a little bit easier. I'm gonna do a couple quick tests. Gonna do a throttle test, of course, with no pedaling in the highest mode, see how fast it'll go. And I'll be using Strava to check that data, given there's no speedometer on this bike. Won't be doing a distance test on it because, well, I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's about 106 Fahrenheit today, so it's really hot. I'm gonna make this a real quick one. Get out to here a straight area and do the test. That bell wants to keep turning on there. There we go. So I'm full throttle, not pedaling at all, zero wind. I weigh uh, around 200, 205 pounds, given on how much I ate that day. So they have listed on the site that the bike will do 15.5 miles per hour. We'll see here in a second what the GPS says. And this is, this is as flat as could be. All right, there should work. Let's. 
go ahead and check Strava now. All right, naming this one if you get on my Strava account, DYU test pure motor, no mods other than a throttle, but that doesn't count. That doesn't make the bike faster. It just makes my hand feel better. With full throttle not helping, is able to do <clears throat> a whole whopping 14.2 miles per hour. So with the amount of power that the controller is giving with my weight, it's not even able to achieve the 15.5 miles per hour. So now let's do a test with me pedaling pretty much as hard as I can in the full mode, giving it everything the bike has and everything that I have, and we'll see what, what I can get up to here. So I assume it's going to get pretty hard because the governor is going to kick in at 15.5 miles per hour and the motor's not going to help at all. So odd one and fourth with the test we go pure pedal power i mean with the with the bike yeah not getting any more from the throttle still even though i kind of want it okay all right let's flip this around try the pedal test this way just to be fair in case there was any kind of grade or anything all right okay given as how hot it has been this summer here in arizona i haven't been uh, out riding as much Whew. definitely need to get my training in this is it's a good workout I'm not gonna lie i need to tighten up the quick release kind of bars are going down on me here should be good let's go ahead and check the results okay it says the max speed was 16.6 miles per hour and it was definitely a good workout <laughs> nice i'm gonna head back home on this and yeah this is definitely could make a nice kids bike you wouldn't have to worry about flying over 20 miles per hour i'm Pretty sure they could pedal their hearts can contend off or of course downhill they still could but yeah, there's nothing you can do about that you could take the motor totally off and you can still do 40 if the mountain was big enough so i'm definitely loving the new throttle that's way better than the thumb throttle and i got a link down below for the bike and the throttle thanks for watching and have a great day i'm gonna break all the rules i'm gonna do what i want I'm in the break all the rules. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm in the break all the rules. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm in the break all the rules. I'm gonna do what I want. They say you got to walk this, talk this, dress this way. You gotta eat this, drink this, smoke this way. You gotta laugh this, cry this, feel this way. You gotta act this, live this, be this, buy this way. Well, I'm in the break all the rules. I'm gonna do what I want. Yeah, I'm in the break all the rules. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm in the break.